Okay, so let's proceed now. After cleaning and understanding the CAD file, the next video hands-on tutorial on how to do this retail lighting is how to build rooms using our software Dialax Evo. So let's go now and show the desktop and open our Dialax Evo software. And while opening, let's review our drawing and also our lighting requirements. Okay, so now it's opening and uh, let's double check if we have a complete plan now. So these are the images and let's review this brand how it looks like in their actual installation so you can have you can see that there's a full length mirror here those channels are black the ceiling is white the floor has i think it's granite wall has white and cove lights there cove lights there and then shelvings and then the style of their hung rod is like this of course the shoes and everything again they have this uh sofa sets in their in some of their stores okay the black granite on the floor so some of the floors has white granite and some stores has black granite this one is black also this one is combination of black and white so let's check if this if our drawing has the same color for the floor Okay, um, let's double check that one. So in the floor, it says polish stainless steel rim, wax concrete effect, cast it on site as black as possible. So we have black flooring here right now. This one is velvet. It's a carpet. So this one is a carpet and the rest are black flooring. All right, then we will use a black flooring. So now we open our Dialax Evo software and we can import now directly our, okay, let's select first the general layout for Dialax and say open and based on the drawing, let's not forget to check the scale. So let's measure it, DI, command DI, let's say this one. So this is 1,401, so it is in millimeter. Because if it's in meter, it's like one meter only. Again, DI. So this is 907, which is supposed to be 0 0.9 if it's in meter. So in the drawing, it says it's mm, millimeters. So it's automatically detected. It's millimeters. So let's go and check it here and make it in the 2D projection. So it will be flat. Because sometimes there are 3D drawings inside the file. So to make it flat or some layers on the upper side so to make it flat let's take this show to the projection in the 3d window and then so once it's, once it's done we can insert other drawings later so for now we will start building now the walls of this retail store so how to do that let's double check first what is the height of this retail store okay in the reflected ceiling it's not mentioned the height it's only showing the distance of the channels even here it's not mentioned so the RCP doesn't mention anything about the height of the ceiling so let's go to the section if you cannot find it in the RCP go and check in the section drawing so right now what I can see is there is four meters here then there is five point 14 here and there's another I think this is the height of the hung rod so there is five meters and four meters and if you measure from finished ceiling to the finished floor line let's measure it so this one I think this is the finished floor line so it's 5.34 let's double check in the other drawings di di is uh, dimension and then 5.34 how about in the other drawings again make sure you know the ceiling line uh, this is the trap ceiling already okay so the the ceiling the finished ceiling or the highest ceiling actually is five 
Okay, this is floor. Yeah. Okay. 5.34. Okay. So let's make it 5. Double check again. Yes. Oh, but this is. Ah, okay. Sorry. It's supposed to be here. Uh, yes. 5.341. So let's just make it 5.34 or 5.35. Okay, so let's go now and build it. Okay, on how to start building the room, you must distinguish which one is the wall for you. Because, see, this one, the hatch one, is the existing concrete wall from the mall or from the building. And this double line is the finished wall of the store. So you must know where you will put your walls so let's go now first and do the external wall so to do the external wall go to your uh, site tab and draw uh, press the draw new building and then start doing your uh, start working with your external wall so for this one I will not consider this uh, columns outside my perimeter so I will just start doing like this so but if you want you can also do it but for me it's it doesn't matter because um, it will be uh, useless to do it but here I will do it just to show it to you and then here also okay and this one so what we are doing right now is the external I, I will skip this one because uh, this is external wall but if you're doing a facade then uh, include that detailed uh, drawing, detailed area. And then uh, let's make it as this one is the front area. So let's make it as detailed as possible. So can we just skip this one and um, uh, I can't decide. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, let's make it like this for a while. And let's continue here. So there's a column here outside. Let's double check it later. Okay, let's continue the drawing up to... Okay, it seems that I need to follow something. There's a hatch here, but here it's gone. Um, okay, let's just follow this one. Let's make it straight first, and later we will double check what are those lines are. And for now, let's make it like this and then close polygon. You can edit it later if you like. Right now, I want to edit it now like, like this. So now you build your external wall. And uh, we, we, we saw in the drawing, in the AutoCAD drawing, that the highest ceiling is, um, what's that, 5.34 meters. So let's make it as... 5.34 meters floor thickness make it just 0.2 okay so let's go to the 3d and check so it's look like this now you need to follow the uh, highest ceiling because the other ceiling you can create it as a drop ceiling later and then now let's go and do the interior wall or the inside wall so if you want to do that now, let's go and press the draw new indoor contour. So uh, we need to double check which one is the wall and which one is not. So let's start here. Oops, sorry. Again, let's start here. Yeah. We will now clicking or selecting the lines that is the finish wall. So if, if the interior designer or the architect has the detailed uh, drawing, uh, you need to double check everything first. So I think um, you can double check it later if it's wrong. So, but for now, let's follow these walls one by one. And then if there's a room, you need to create the, the room as well. So I will create a separate fitting room so I can calculate it separately. And this one also, a separate also. So you need to plan ahead uh, which one you're going to make as a room or not. So I will edit this one later. 
and then this one um, okay so this is a light box inside but I think it has something here so just follow this wall still and then this light box you can uh, just follow this wall we can create a separate light box later or we can edit this wall again later if it's incorrect okay because the layer actually if the layer is correct I can just switch on only all the wall layers okay you can press the uh, undo button if you made a mistake so I think I have to press this one instead ah so from here I made a mistake okay it should be here and then there and then again here so there's a um, small column here I think it's a part of the design so there's a box here that is the shelvings so I'm skipping it so make sure you detect the correct walls or you selected the points for the correct walls there's small uh, area here because this is I think for the cove lighting so let's go and keep on doing the the interior wall I think this this is really hard no because um, you're working while you're, I mean, you're working while you're talking. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so I think what is this area? I think there's something in here. So let's just use it for now like this. And then like this, like this. Okay. All right. This one also. So we're almost done. So be patient on uh, selecting the location of your exterior interior wall so I will save it because it's asking to save so let's go and save it in the couples lighting design tutorial so we'll say um, retail lighting design tutorial you can label it uh, differently but this one is for the tutorial so I leave it like this retail lighting design tutorial then press enter now your uh, Dialogs Evo file is saved. So let's go to the 3D and check. And there you go. Now the room is almost done. So let's go and select now. Let's provide. Uh, uh, let's do the exterior, uh, the interior wall for these fitting rooms. So what I'm going to do is I will just create a whole room for this area and this one, even if there's a separate fitting rooms here. So press again the draw indoor contour and then do it like this and like this and like this and then up to here so now it's like that okay then close the polygon we will change the ceiling height of that one later we need to double check the ceiling height of that room or that of that fitting room in the section drawing later and this one okay up to here then close and then if you want to do the stack room also we can also do it so this one I need to edit this one if you want to edit the room just maintain your tab here in the store and building construction and then just scroll your mouse here and select this line and then you can edit it here and then draw the in indoor contour for this um, what do you call this um, uh, warehouse or storage room actually this is not part of our scope but uh, for this uh, tutorial I will include the storage room because it's part of also of my ebook on how to do a lighting calculation for a storage room or stack room or for a retail shop so now it's done uh, all right it's almost finished uh, the number two is almost done next is we will put a door in window and cutouts and ceiling and also the glass doors here for the window display and other stuff and our room is almost done okay